effect. We're going to show you today how to make your levels look even more realistic by sculpting using a rough tool and a hot wire. Now that you have your levels in place and your track plan, you're going to want to glue it and you're going to want to use a construction grade adhesive and let this sit for 24 hours and you'll have a nice strong hold. Once that's dry, you're ready to sculpt, which is the next level of detail. My styrofoam of choice is the white insulation board. Now, if you're unable to get that and you have to choose the yellow with the foil coat on it, you're going to want to get one of these sculpting tools. This is the best for that kind of styrofoam, but it also works wonders on this. Now, I choose this styrofoam for one choice and one choice only. You can use a hot wire on it. This tool creates nice custom edges like magic. Cuts like butter. You're going to want to do this along every square or rough edge of your styrofoam base in a well ventilated area. This is going to be the base to your rock work design, which we'll paint later. You're going to want to do the tops and insides of your tunnels as well as any hillsides. Now, if you want to add even more detail, you can go back with this tool, rough it up a little bit get a nice rough rock base that you can later paint and then add your landscaping to.